Okay, so hello again. Um, I wanted to come on here and share another story about when um, God answered prayer. The, um, I guess the theme of my channel just keeps being sharing what God's done in my life, which, you know, I enjoy doing because um, it's encouraging and it's fun to share. Um, and so, anyway, if I um, also wanted to say, if you're enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or prayer requests, please put them below and um, I will pray for you. And maybe if anybody else wants to, they'll pray for you as well. Um, so, um, this was an instance that happened a few years ago, uh, three years ago, actually. Um, and um, actually, no, almost four years ago. And um, one of these one of these days, I'm gonna sit down and do a big long video, or maybe a few videos on um, my dog. Um, she she passed away last fall, but um, three years ago, we found out that she had um, cancer, and so um, and God was very good because um, she was given just a few days to live, and she ended up living for three years and one month. So and um, she's doing really great. And so we are very thankful for that. Um, when she passed away, she passed away um, just a few days before her 14th birthday. So she lived a, a long life and we're thankful for that. And so, um, but at this instance is where um, when we had first found out um, that she had cancer, um, they gave my husband the option to put her to sleep because they said she only had a few years to left to live. And so my husband said no. And he said, you know, he wanted to take her home so that I could see her and we would talk about what we wanted to do because, you know, he hated the thought of, you know, I say goodbye to her cause she's going to the vet and then, you know, say he came home and was like, oh, well I was there. We put her to sleep. I mean, I would have been hysterical. And so, um, Anyway, he brought her home and I um, became hysterical <laughs> and um, I uh, and then we also found out um, that she had pancreatitis and the pancreatitis was what kicked it off because she was throwing up one night and she wouldn't stop throwing up and so in the process of trying to figure out what was wrong we found out she had pancreatitis and then our vet we took her to another vet and our own vet and they said also by the way she has cancer. And so I just prayed and prayed and I asked God, you know, please heal her because um, the year before um, we had lost our other corgi, the almost a, exactly a year before. And so the thought of losing another dog almost a year later was like, I, I can't, I can't accept this. I can't take this. And so, um, anyway, I, because of the pancreatitis and the, the, um, the, and also the cancer, the vet said that, um, what was going to happen is the tumor was going to get so big that it wasn't going to allow the stuff, anything in her stomach to leave it. And she wouldn't be able to, um, have food leave her stomach. She could eat, but it wouldn't go past her stomach and that's why they were recommending we put her to sleep um but she also had pancreatitis and pancreatitis is often caused by regular caused by if i've done some reading a lot of it is caused by regular dog food and so they and so i you know i learned that um when they have pancreatitis the best thing to do is just give them cooked pureed vegetables just to give their bodies a rest because often they get pancreatitis can get kicked off by oily meats or oils in food, in dog food or if you're giving like a raw diet the, the oils in the meats like you're doing turkey or birds you know goose or whatever and so we had been giving her a raw food diet a supplement with her regular dog food and so i went ahead and started giving her um was planning on giving her or our vet also said just i said well can she eat anything and she said, well, you know, technically no, because you'll give her food and it won't pass her um, stomach. But for some reason, I think she was just doing it so that I would 
just to give me an answer. And so she said, but if you want to try it, you can. She was kind of like putting it back on me. And so I'm just like, okay. And so I went ahead and I prayed and asked God, so it was like, please, you know, heal her. Please don't let her die because, you know, she's my baby and, you know, I can't lose another dog in, you know, a year later. I, I can't. And so the next morning I, um, there was a devotional or something I'd gotten in the mail from David Wilkerson Ministries and I have been getting stuff from his ministries for, for ages. And I, for some reason I hadn't opened it yet. And so I was going through, there's a devotional inside and there was a scripture or there's a devotional that talked about Jairus's daughter. And it was talking, it was uh, Jairus's daughters where, um, this man's little daughter had, had died and the family came to Jairus and his family came to Jesus and said, our daughter is, is died, but would you, would you heal her? Would you, would you come and see her or see her body? And, and Jesus said, okay. And he went in and he healed her. And so the devotional was talking about, you know, kind of when you've done everything to stand and to trust God and see what he's, what he's going to do. Is he the salvation of God? And the day before I had opened this devotional, I had prayed um, that scripture about that had, was in the story of Jairus's daughter, where Jesus said Talitha Kumi, which means uh, "little girl, get up." And my dog, I always said, you know, she's my husband's dog, but she's mommy's little girl. She was my little girl, and so I had prayed that scripture over her, saying, you know, Talitha Kumi. Greta. And so anyway, the next day to read this thing in this devotional, I knew God was saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help her. And that gave me the drive that like, okay, God, God's gonna help me with this. And so we did not put her to sleep. And I was just determined I'm going to give her the pureed vegetables, and that's just what we're gonna do. And the vet's just kind of like, okay, and um, and so, but the problem was, is that that first week she would not eat, and I was just a complete mess. I just, I was trying all these things. I'd cook it. I'd give it to her, she wouldn't eat it. I'd turn around, I'd cook something else, I'd give it to her, she wouldn't eat it, and that's all I did. And then I'd have to stop for a while because she just obviously wasn't eating. And so I, I did all the things that she liked to eat, her favorite foods, her favorite treats, all these things she would not eat. And um, I was just like, think, like you know, I was going back and forth between trying to stand on, on what God told me and trusting him, but I was so scared and so upset that I was I was scared to death and I'm thinking oh she's just gonna she's just gonna die it's it, you know and and I saw so I was going back and forth with this and and I was just hysterical hysterical mess I mean I wasn't even thinking clearly I would go to grab a spoon when I was cooking and I would turn around and I would set the spoon down on the counter or somewhere and then I'd go back over to the stove to use the spoon to 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 stir the whatever I was making and I would hadn't have a spoon in my hand and then I'd go grab another spoon and then somehow I'd set it down and then go over to the I mean I was leaving there were spoons like all over the over the kitchen counters because I was just like such like I've got to fix it I've got to help her I've got to fix it you know and all this stuff and so anyway um she wouldn't eat and I was just, you know, trying to be like, okay, God said he's going to got this. He's going to fix this and whatever. But then part of me is, was like, I, you know, I, like I said, I lost my dog the year, other dog the year before. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to lose my other one here a year later. Like, no, I've got to fix this. I've got to help her. And so anyway, um, the, then one day, so this went on, it, that was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, I think it was Wednesday or th Wednesday, but I think Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and after I tried everything, 
she wouldn't eat. And you know, dogs when they often when they are winding down to pass away, they stop eating. And that's why I was just like a hysterical mess. So anyway, I was like, God, please, please, what do I do? What do I do? You know, praying all this. And so I remember throughout the day, randomly, every once in a while, I'd just get the word broccoli. And I'd be thinking like, it just wasn't registering. And then this happened enough time during, um, during the day that in the afternoon it was like, if God's telling me I should give her broccoli and I thought about it and it's like well she likes broccoli and it's stinky and dogs like to eat stinky things and I'm like okay I mean do we have any broccoli and I I, I couldn't have gotten any broccoli because um, my husband was gone and um, you know we didn't really we don't really have a grocery store close by so um, I couldn't have just gone out and get broccoli but then I just I remembered that the week before my husband was kept saying I want some broccoli I'm craving broccoli I'm craving broccoli and then he came home with some broccoli and I remembered I didn't recall then I remembered that and I'm like oh RJ you know my husband just brought um just brought some broccoli home and I will and I thought, oh, I should go check to see if he, and I, I thought he hadn't eaten it. Well, he hadn't eaten it. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so I went ahead and I um, cooked it and I, you know, I steamed it and I pureed it and she ate it. She hadn't eaten since Sunday. And I think this was, I think it was, it was Thursday. It was, it was Thursday and she hadn't eaten since Sunday. So, so yeah, she hadn't eaten. No, she had, it was Thursday or Friday, but anyway, it had been a quite a few days. She hadn't eaten. She woofed that down, licked her bowl clean, and I was just ecstatic. I was so overjoyed. It was just, I thank God for that. I knew that was God because it kept popping up just broccoli, you know, throughout the day. Broccoli, just randomly, broccoli. And God provided it. You know, my husband had a craving for broccoli and then I forgot about it. And then I remember that we had it. And I've had lots of things in my life where I'll get something with intention that to do something with it. And then I forget about it. And then a week later, a month later, and sometimes many years later, I will need that thing or I'll, it will be something that I'm learning and I will need something to help me with learning whatever it is. And I will run into it. And it will be provided for me. Oftentimes it's been provided for me way ahead of time before I even knew I was going to need it. And God has done that so many times in my life. And this was just another instance where, um, you know, my husband wanted broccoli and then he forgot about it. And then it happened to be there when, when I needed it. And, um, and, um, and the other thing too, I wanted to say was that even though she wasn't eating food, she was drinking water. And my vet said that the fact that she was actively drinking water was actually a good sign. So that was another one of the reasons why we weren't thinking about, you know, putting her to sleep because she was actively drinking water. She was just drinking water all the time. Um, and so anyway, and she had broccoli and then I continued to make her broccoli. And I told the vet, and she's like, okay, we'll just keep doing it, you know. And, and she, I think the way she, she was talking was like she had kind of resigned that that she was, Dreda was gonna, was going to die. And I was just like, not on my watch, you know, I'm gonna turn to God for help. And, and she was just kind of humoring me like, okay, well, you could try this, you know, and you could try that. And so I did. And um, it worked. I learned over time that um, when a dog has pancreatitis, you need to back off on the meats and the head and, and no grains and um, do veggie, cooked veggie purees to give their body a rest. To give their, I think it's, I don't know, it's the, um, you know, the pancreas is angry, it's upset. And so you need to calm down and give it a break. So um, a puree, veggie puree can really help 
with giving the body a break, but giving the animal something, some vitamins and minerals and nutrients to eat. Um, and so I found out that you did, we did that for weeks. I think we did that for a month. And, um, and then she slowly, st we slowly worked in, um, an anti-cancer diet and, um, things started to, you know, things improved because her, her pancreas healed and she never, she never had that uh, pancreatitis again after that. But once a dog gets pancreatitis, you can't go and give them dog food again, regular, um, store-bought dog food again. You have to cook for them. So, I mean, I, th I think they have pancreatitis type dog foods for dogs that have, you know, for dogs with pancreatitis, but... The thing I kept running into was like, it's just, you know, probably best to cook for them. So, and also with her having cancer, I just started giving her an anti-cancer diet and, um, uh, you know, the veggies and things and a grain, grain free and all that. So the pancreatitis wouldn't be kicked back up. So anyway, and she had that diet for many years until she passed and she loved it. She got to eat multiple times a day, which was kind of a, you know, I had to cook for her all the time, but it was worth it and she liked it so it worked out so anyway that was just to say that share another instance where God was faithful and he was you know I asked him for help and he helped and he was very clear which I just kept saying broccoli 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 and it was exactly what was needed like because like I said she wouldn't eat anything that I gave her all the treats and you know she loved you know carrots even cooked carrots, she wouldn't eat them, and then that, you know. So anyway, God helped with that, and he helped with, you know, the next three and a half, three years. God helped in many, many other ways, but that was one way where God was very, um, answered quickly, and to the point, and it was exactly what was needed. So, I just wanted to share that, and to just say again, God is very near, he's not far off and uh, get to know him. He loves you very much. So, hope you're having a great day and a great week. And again, if you like our video, like these videos, please like and subscribe and comment below. And if you need any prayer for anything, please let me know. Have a good day.